How's it going guys, Clash here, and welcome back for some more of Oblivion, and I just saw the live action trailer for Skyrim, and that thing was super badass. I can't tell you guys how awesome the live action trailer for Skyrim was, and if you haven't seen it, uh, you need to go ahead and do so, because it has definitely really got me pumped for that game. Also, my midterms are done, so all around, I'm pretty stoked for life in general, because now I can record a bunch of Oblivion and a bunch of Darnia crap. So let's go ahead and talk to Arelder about lifting the curse off of Kellen. You were Martin's friend, weren't you? You were fortunate to have known him. Yes, I was. He was a beast. All right, so uh, how do we lift this curse off of Kellen? It's a horrible thing, truly. One cannot help but pity those such as Kellen, who have such a burden placed on them. Through no fault of their own. Yeah, it sucks. But if it is the will of the Nine, then there is little that can be done. Bullshit. Okay, do we talk to him about Kellen then? I... I cannot face him. I know what might be done for him, but I haven't the will to do it. Yeah, you do. I wish I could help him. Truly, I do. But I cannot muster the strength to damn myself on his behalf. Don't lie to yourself. What are you talking about? The curse. I know what would lift it. But I cannot do it. The Bullshit. Only way to of his curse is to take it on myself. I am not strong enough to do this, and so I am a failure. Yes, you are. I fail Kellen every time I speak to him, and I fail Stendar every time I pray to him and do not ask for the power to lift the curse. Do you know one who would do such a thing? One who would pray at this chapel's altar? Pray to Stendar for the power to lift this curse? I'll do it, you clown. Goodbye. Just because you don't have the stomach to do it, I'll go ahead and do it. So, let's go ahead and pray to Stendar and get the power to lift Kel uh, Kellen's curse. Yay, I have prayed at the altar in the chapel of Stendar and have been granted the ability to lay hands on Kellen. I need to see him at once. Lay hands on Kellen? What the hell? What does that even mean? I, just, I guess we just have to talk to him. I mean, if the game says we need to lay hands on him, then sure, but, uh, whatever. All right, Kellen, <laughs> where you at? What's up, bro? Back to see the doomed man, have you? You're not going to be doomed anymore. I've saved you. I don't know why they're still here. They're so heavy, and I'm so weak. What does Stendhal want from me? What the hell? I just prayed for you to be safe from the, uh, the curse. I just prayed to have it... Inflicted upon myself and not you. The church is still in turmoil. Okay, what the hell is going on here? Let's see. I prayed at the bloody blah, blah. Lay hands on Kellen. I need to see him at once. What the heck? Oh, I remember. We had to use some kind of uh, spell, huh? Oh, there we go. Lay hands. All right. Farewell. Sure. I, for I completely forgot about that. It's been a long ass time, like I said, since I played this DLC. That's really weird. It doesn't specifically say. That you need to use a spell on him. It just says, oh, I haven't have granted the ability to lay hands on Kellen, blah, 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 blah. But I've lifted the curse from Kellen, which means I am taking it upon myself. As a result, I am weary and my fatigue has been affected. With the curse lifted, I can now retrieve the gauntlets of the Crusader. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Yay, wait a minute. Shouldn't we talk to him about the curse first? You, how did you? I feel good. I feel good. <laughs> I don't feel like death. I feel like running. I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> now he's just running around in circles. All right. Look at me. <laughs> That's awesome. I can't believe it. I feel normal. Thank you so much. You have no idea what this means to me. I finally have a chance to get out and see the world. I'm not wasting another second of my life. And I'm forever indebted to you, friend. Farewell. You are most welcome, bro. <laughs> it's so awesome. He's just like, yeah! And then he starts laughing hysterically. All right. That is good. All right. Now we can get these gauntlets and move on with life. Sweet. Give me the gauntlets. Aha. I've recovered blah -dee blah I've completed Sir Casimir's quest by recovering the gauntlets of the Crusader. I should continue to search for the relics that the other Ghost Knight's requesting for. Yay. All right. Let's go ahead and equip these gauntlets. I'm pretty sure that we have the, uh, the curse now for as long as uh, this quest goes on, which kind of sucks. But uh, wait, maybe we don't? Well, that's weird. Shouldn't my fatigue be like lowered or something? I don't know. I don't really care. Fact of the matter is, is that we now have the gauntlets, and actually, I do kind of feel slower 
Look at that. We almost had the full suit. All we need are the greaves, and I guess the sword and the shield, and the mace, too. Even though I'm not going to use the mace, because I suck with the mace. Blunt objects are not my forte, so to speak. I don't know why, but just looking at that armor really makes me want to play Assassin's Creed. I cannot wait until the, uh... The new Assassin's Creed comes out, guys. I'm going to be playing that for sure, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to do a Let's Play of it, so... Actually, let me know what you guys think in the comment section, because I know the people that watch my Oblivion videos are the ones that like my stuff that's not just Minecraft, so I'd like to see how many of you would enjoy an Assassin's Creed playthrough. So let me know in the comment section so I can get a feel for that and see uh, how popular that will be, because I don't want to do it if nobody was going to watch it nobody wants to see it, like... I understand that it's my channel and I'm going to do what I want, but I don't want to do stuff that you guys aren't going to enjoy at all. So, uh, that's why I'm asking you. But Assassin's Creed Revelations, that's going to be a very fun game. That, in addition to Modern Warfare 3 and Skyrim, are going to take up so much time on my channel. Assuming I do Assassin's Creed, but uh, what's this other quest for the Mace over here? It should be, should be in the current quest, right? Prior to the Nine, blah -de blah That's not it. Uh, the Path of the Righteous, or blah -de blah the mace of Zenithar. In order to recover the mace, I must travel to the chapel of Zenithar in Leowin. In the undercroft of the chapel, I must kneel at the shrine there. According to Sir Ralvis, I shall be tested, and my faith will be my guide. Alright. So where are we going? Leowin? Yes. Alright. To Leowin we go! It's way down south there. Kind of by the uh, Black Marsh. Which is like just to the, sh the, uh, to the south, I'm pretty sure. Elsewhere. Not exactly sure, actually, where the Black Marsh is. I'm pretty sure that's where the, um, wait a minute, is it over here to the right? Yeah, it is. Black Marsh, right there. That's where the Argonians are supposed to be. Can't be exactly certain because I'm not an expert in the Elder Scrolls lore, but nevertheless, we can now make our way to Leowin and get shit done. So yeah, as long as I continue to do two episodes a day like this, I should have... This Night to the Nine DLC done. If not just in time for Skyrim, a few days before. And Skyrim is just going to be so sick, guys. I cannot wait to do that. That's going to be the main project on my channel, no doubt. Two episodes every day until I finish it. I mean, there will be points, uh, especially since I'm pretty sure I'm going to Minecon now. Like, it's a for sure thing that uh, there won't be... There, there might be a day or two where I don't have the opportunity to upload... But for the most part, Skyrim is going to be uploaded a lot. Oh! I've heard of you. You're the one restoring the Knights of the Nine, aren't you? Yes, who the bloody hell are you? <laughs> I have to go. I could just be an asshole and be like, no, nah, I don't want to talk to you. Uh, who are you? My name is Kennedy Saholan. Like you, I am a servant of the Nine, specifically of Zenithar. I came here seeking his mace. However, I could not pass the test. I'm just... I'm no crusader, but... That doesn't mean that I cannot serve Xenathar. In light of recent attacks, I've signed on to protect the chapel. I'm fair with a blade, and by my honor, I'll serve the Nine in any way I can. Kind of feel bad for this guy. But uh, what can you tell me about the mace? Legends say that when Pelinald Whitestrike was slain by the aliens, a messenger carried the mace to the human settlement of Leowen as a message. Centuries later, the master craftsman St. Calidus built the Chapel of Xenathar in Leowen as a tribute to the legend. When St. Calidus was laid to rest, those who prayed to Xenathar at his tomb began to receive visions of the Mace of the Crusader. Holy Narnia! Alright, Mace of Xenathar. Legends say that when- Wait a minute, didn't we already talk to him about this? Yes, I think we did. Whatever. I think we've talked to him about all there is to talk to him about, and look at that armor. Still badass as always. Who are you, cat guy? Just kidding. You're fine. I need to go to the Undercroft, and... Now we can actually go ahead and get this mace here, and... <gasps> oh, no! Ghosts! Let's kill this ghost. Pretty sure this ghost will attack us no matter what we do. This isn't even part of the test, I believe. But, uh, either way... Yeah, no matter what we do, these stupid-ass ghosts are gonna attack me, so... We are faced with the task of destroying them and causing them to puke up green stuff, I'm pretty sure. Actually, I don't know if this guy's gonna puke up any green stuff. Not even sure if the first one did. I wasn't paying attention. No! No! Damn it. Casting shit on me, I see. Am I. Oh, wow. My fatigue or whatever is drained. And this clown is apparently strong against Pikachu's Thunderbolt, so that's great. Speaking of which, I need to record some Pokemon. 
In fact, I think I'm going to do that after I record this. Although that Pokemon episode will be uploaded before this is uploaded, so... Yeah, they do puke out green stuff. Awesome, so, the Tomb of St. Calatus. Ooh! What's happening? Oh, damn. I've knelt before the Shrine of Calatus in Leowin and found myself transported to some sort of dark void. This is great. I can see the Maze of Xenathar far off in the distance. There's a glowing walkway leading towards them. The boots of Kinnereth are vibrating softly, and they seem to have some connection to the mystical path. Ho ho! Yay! Alright, so, uh... Oh, crap. If I walk over here, will I die? Oh, no.